I can't keep calm. I'm going on a Disney cruise. Woohoo! Not only am I going on a Disney cruise, I am going on the Disney Wish. I am so excited. Ta-da! Here's Captain Minnie on the Wish. Um, I wanted to share with you guys today some of what I am buying and prepping and getting ready for with our trip on the Disney Wish in August. Yay! everyone welcome back if you have never been here before my name is Val I'm a single mom with way too many cats and two sons and one dog and I love 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 cruising so this is Singer Family Adventures and August 15th we are getting on the Disney Wish woohoo super excited um, if you're wondering what that is that's actually the hammock stand for my porch the uh, homeowners association they're rebuilding the porch last week and next week and so it's sitting in my living room mm. but I want to talk to you about the Disney wish and some of the things I've bought and some of the Etsy shops I'm using I'm not gonna show you the fish extenders that I've gotten but I'm gonna give you some of the Etsy shops that I've bought fish extender things from and just talk to you about some of the fun Yes, I hear you're going on the wish, Valerie. I've been very busy. <laughs> yes, we are doing the preparatory sailings now. Oh, it's so fun. The inaugural sailing is going to be July 15th. So when you come aboard, we will have just been sailing for a month. Yay! Here's my Captain Minnie that I got on the Fantasy. Dun, dun, dun. Disney Cruise Line. Um, so, yes. One of the things we have done on most of our Disney cruises is make a t-shirt. I actually really like this t-shirt because it can be worn on multiple cruises. It doesn't actually have the name of the cruise line on it. I got this a few years ago. So if I can remember the shop that I got that from, the Etsy shop, I will link that down below. But for this year, I got the three of us matching shirts. <clears throat> And here is what they say. Disney Wish 2022 Singer Family. So I went back and forth between like, do I get our names on each of them or do I say Singer Family? Um, truth is we are now all wearing very close to the same size shirts. So um, I decided not to put our names on it just in case, you know, eventually Rafi takes Jonah's shirt or Jonah even takes Rafi's shirt. Those are my boys, by the way. Um, that's my cat meowing in the background. Um, I am super happy with these shirts. I like how they came out. And anyway, so I'm forgetting, it's something Threads, the company that made these. I'm gonna put their name down below here. And then I got another shirt just for me. Um, I'm the super nerd in the family that loves all this stuff even more than my boys. They're 13 and 20. So um, <clears throat> I got this shirt, the sea it calls me. Um, see the line where the sky meets the sea, it calls me, excuse my bad singing. And no one knows how far it goes. Um, this one actually doesn't say the wish on it either. So this is just a general cruise shirt, but I really loved it with the Moana song on it. Um, my friend Adrian has promised to do a little Moana singing. This is Binks, my cat. We are a serious Disney family. We have cats named after Disney characters. Um, crazy cats. Yes. So one of the companies that I did buy for, for um, fish extenders, which I'm not going to give you too much information. I will link my sort of main fish extender video from a few years ago here, explaining what those are if you're not familiar with them. But I love this company on Etsy called Gray Owl Design, and they do a lot of wood carving, and they do wood carving magnets. 
So these I got for our last cruise. See, it says fantasy. Um, <clears throat> the ones I got for this cruise are not exactly this design, but uh, they are similar. Similar in the sense of the coloration and everything and the quality. Um, see, Gray Owl Designs. Also from Gray Owl Designs this time, I ordered these because they're new on his site and I thought these were really cute and they're gonna be gifts. I ordered, I think three or four of them. They're gonna be gifts to go, any crew members that I feel like I've bonded with, I may give them one of these. We love our crew. It says 2022 on the bottom and it's a magnet. Um, it actually could be used for any cruise line. It doesn't say Disney specifically, but it does say 2022. Now, why the ducks? And, and there are a few um, people on the Disney cruises that I really have bonded with over the five cruises I've been on. I've seen them two or three times. I don't know who's gonna be on the wish and who's not. So when I was on the fantasy, I asked a couple people that I knew, um, are you going on the wish? And they said, we don't know. You know, we put in for the job. We wanna be on the wish, but we don't know yet if we'll get it. Or one person said, well, I didn't actually put in for it, but Disney's gonna decide where I go. And you know, my contract on this ship is up right about the time that it starts. So why ducks? Uh, there's a thing on the cruise lines in general, and it's very common on the Disney Wish, for people to bring rubber ducks and hide them around the ship. And it's for children or anybody else to find. And oftentimes you put a tag on the rubber duck that says, oh, what luck, you found a duck. You know, um, keep or rehide, you decide. So the person, if they don't wanna keep the rubber duck, they can hide it somewhere else. Um, if they do wanna keep it, they have a rubber duck to go home with. So I might've bought some rubber ducks. My, my son Jonah has a thing for rubber ducks. His, his uh, nickname at one point in high school was Snoop Duck. So I got some ducks. And then I got some more ducks. Yep. And I got some more ducks. Look at these. These are little rainbow unicorn, not rainbow, um, pink and blue unicorn ducks. Now, how hilarious is that? I have way more ducks than that. I'm bringing a lot of ducks on the Disney Wish. Part of why I am so, so excited about this cruise is that the percentage of people cruising in August who are experienced cruisers is gonna be way higher than any other cruise I've ever been on. There's gonna be a lot of people on there who have cruised more than 10 times, more than 20 times, more than 30 times even. Um, we've cruised five times before on Disney Cruise Line and we absolutely love it. So we are new gold members. Um, why does it matter how often somebody's cruised or how often the other people have cruised? It matters because there's all sorts of fun things to do on the ship, like hiding ducks, like decorating your room door. And, um, you know, as you walk down the halls and look at the decorations on the doors, some people have one or two decorations. Most people have none on a normal cruise, but then every so often, boom, you hit a door that is just like loaded with family history and family magnets and cruise decorations of all kinds of creative types. And those tend to be the experienced cruisers. And so I'm so excited to see the decorations because I bet you it's gonna be like, you know, to say it in a spinal tap way, uh, you know, on a scale of one to 10, it's gonna be an 11. Um, <clears throat> I got some more stuff to show you. These are some of my favorite cruise ears. These are from Clearly Magic Ears. But I will tell you, if you tend to wear ears in the parks, don't wear your very best ears on the cruise ship, like on the deck or anything, because in high winds, boom, your ears are gone. I almost lost these ears on a cruise over the side. They stopped right before they went overboard. Uh, <clears throat> I do bring ears and I do wear them to dinner. So inside to dinner, inside events, you can wear your ears around and lots of people are. Um, but I will also be wearing little things like this, which my friend Christine made me and it's got mini on it. Um, this you can wear on the ship. And I know I look like 
a 50 year old trying to be 12, but I'm 12 at heart. What can I say? Okay, hold on. I got more for you. Okay, so speaking of fish extenders, I did get a print off on Etsy um, that I could specialize that says from the Singer family will be in stateroom 7068, August 15th to the 19th, Disney Wish and who it's to. So I can use these to label all of my fish extenders. Um, when you give fish extenders, you wanna tell people that it's your gift and where you are, what your stateroom is. Um, and then I may also use them for pixie dusting. Pixie dusting is when you give a gift with just spontaneously with no expectation or requirement to return the gift. Um, sometimes I pixie dust anonymously. Sometimes I put our names on it. Um, you know, some people might get some of those extra ducks. We'll see pixie dusted to them. And speaking of room magnets, I have ordered new magnets for like every cruise. It gets a, a lot, but um, this is going on our door. Disney Wish, it has our channel name on it, Singer Family Adventures. Sorry for the glare, man. Okay, that's better. Um, and then it has Val, Jonah, and Rafi. Isn't that cool? And it says 2022 at the top. So that is going on our door. I also have a cruise backpack where I keep all this stuff. It's actually not a Disney backpack, but it has cats on it because you know, I'm a cat person. Um, it's got all my old stuff that's been here time and time again. Um, I will tell you that the last cruise, I gave out my fish extenders in a bag like this. This says Disney Fantasy. I am not doing this exact style bag, but I did get a fun bag to give out fish extenders in, and I got it from the same shop. So I'm linking that shop below right here. Um, that's a good place to go. They have a lot of things related to fish extenders. Um, one of my favorite shops is a magnet shop, which I did not order from this time, but they will custom make magnets for you. Um, and all their magnets are Mickey heads of different characters. So I didn't order from them this time because I already have some great magnets from them. Rafi. Here's another Valerie with Leia. And here's a Jonah with, with uh, Flynn being smoldery. So um, those get carried every single time in our envelope and put on our door again and again. And um, it's super fun. I'm just looking through my backpack to share stuff with you. One thing I always bring is, and I got these off of Amazon, whoo, is a number of the, they're all smushed in together, highly magnetic, um, one thing I always bring that I got off of Amazon and they are all sticking together in the box is these highly magnetic hooks um, to put them on the walls because the walls of the room are metal as well um, so they're magnetized and it's just a great way to have somewhere extra extra storage space um, mostly i use them to hang up our lanyards so we have three to hang up lanyards i realized that these hold ears very well so i'll put up several of these and i will prop my ears on them and then it's almost like a personalized decoration see um, on our room as well. Um, <clears throat> there will be a pirate night on the Wish, so bring your pirate gear if you're going. Um, we don't get all crazy for pirate night as much as we used to, but it is a fun thing. All right, I wanna add one critique of Disney. So if you don't wanna hear Disney critiqued, then maybe you wanna log off, but just going through this D23 article about The Wish, and many of you know there are gonna be three sit-down restaurants at The Wish. One is called Arendelle. It's gonna have a live show um, with Elsa and Anna, and I believe um, Olaf as well. There's my cat, Mr. Binksy, crying to go out. 
Um, there's Marceline Market, which is not a sit-down restaurant, but it, or it's the buffet restaurant. Um, there is the Avengers uh, restaurant, which is all Marvel themed, and I might not have the right name for it. And then there's 1923. Now, 1923 is themed to the 20s, and they picked that year and that title because that's the year that Walt was born. So here's my critique of Disney, y'all. Look at this. This picture is the picture that is used over and over and over again as the picture to advertise 1923 and how themed it is to the Roaring Twenties and how the food is, you know, like classic American from, you know, a century ago, blah, blah, blah. To me, that picture to be used as the main marketing thing for that restaurant over and over and over again, it's super cringy, y'all. It's super cringy. What it says to me, and granted, the the, the staff, um, they're called the crew, the crew members um, on the ships of the Disney Cruise Line are super diverse. They are from all, all, all over the world. And I would say a high percentage of them um, are from the Caribbean, are Afro-Caribbean folks, and then a high percentage from the Philippines for whatever reason, you know, but they are from all over the world. Um, but to have a black man in a bow tie in a restaurant themed to, towards the 20s and to have that as your number one marketing picture for that restaurant, to me that's saying, hey, let's all be nostalgic and remember the grand old times of Jim Crow and black servitude in America. Yay! Come on, Disney. You guys are supposed to be like the top marketing com company in America or one of them. You know how to do what you're doing. You know what a message sends. That was not a good choice as your number one picture to repeatedly put out for the 1923 restaurant, right? That, that the only person in there was a servant was a waiter, but but also a servant, right? A server um, who was African American or African something. Um, you know, it's just to me, it's cringy, and uh, I have a multiracial family. If you don't know me, uh, I'm white. I have one Hispanic son and one black son. So, like, those things matter to us. You know, representation matters, and representation in how you're represented. Sometimes it's better not to have the minorities represented when they're represented with a certain message attached. Now, I'm sure that Disney is not saying, let's remember the Roaring Twenties and all the wonderful racism and lynchings that happened back then. Of course not. Of course they're gonna remember the good times and I will go to that restaurant and I will enjoy it and it probably has great food and a great atmosphere and lots of history on the walls, et cetera, et cetera. But come on, I just had to point that out. It's been bothering me because I've been reading just about everything that comes out about The Wish and I've been looking at all the stuff online and that picture has shown up again and again and again and again. Show us some other pictures of the 1923 restaurant, please Disney. All right. There was your political moment. I'm still super excited about going on The Wish and um, tell me what you think of all of this. Uh, if you disagree with me, feel free to disagree. You know, do it nicely or I'll block your comment. But um, I hope you guys get on some exciting summer adventure that you're looking forward to. I know we are looking forward to this adventure very much. Stay tuned to our channel if you wanna see more from the Disney Wish. And I promise you not every video ends with, you know, um, a critique of Disney or like a racial analysis or what have you, but some of them do, that's who I am. All right, see you real soon, spread some kindness.